Mark Twain says that a truly honest person never has to keep track of what they say because they're not going to backtrack and you're not going to catch them in any lies. Yesterday I told a story about an orange cat, Sam, when I was growing up, one of my only friends. And I have also spoken about another cat who my father brutally ended with her two kittens. I don't usually say the cat's name that my father ended, so a few people thought that Sam was the same cat. But the other cat's name was actually Feo. Feo means ugly in Spanish. I did not name my pretty calico cat this. My sister did. The worst of the two twin sisters. My sadistic, narcissistic, sociopathic father's favorite. And he groomed her to make her as evil as possible. Now I'm guessing she's dealing with a lot of mental illness and old age. Feo was given to me by Nathan Godoni, who I have mentioned in earlier stories. We were forced to stop being friends with Nathan, one of our only friends, because he had an older sister who was in some sort of rivalry with my older sister. So even though it had nothing to do with me and Nathan, we were forced to stop being friends with him. Nathan gave me the cat. It was the runt of the litter. My father did not get the cat fixed or buy cat for it. But my mom, who lived across town, made sure that I always had cat food to feed the kitty. At the end of 8th grade, Feo had two kittens. My twin brother and I named them Black and Gray. My brother and I played with the kittens for hours. They were our main source of entertainment. The cats and kittens were teaching us 8th graders responsibility. But one day, I came home from school and Feo, who was always in my room, was gone and so was her two kittens. My father was sitting on the couch with a smug smirk on his face. The same kind of look smile he had at my mother's funeral the last time i ever saw this pos it was hard to stand up to him and even look him in the eye or speak to him he was always mean and belligerent and he always used the threat of violence to control us like he's gonna hit us my father is a very weak weak man he wouldn't be able to do that to me as an adult or any adult imagine a grown man who threatens to hit kids where's my cat i told him i remember the second i stood up to him like that he stopped smiling jumped up from his seat like he was gonna hit me I jumped back to protect myself. He lifted his hand up like he was going to smack me. He backed me in a corner. He said, that cat's not coming back. That cat's never coming back. I threw her out a car window. After learning of my cat and her kitten's faith, I remember feeling so helpless. I couldn't believe parents were allowed to do that. And they weren't, actually. My father should have been thrown in jail for that and other things. I called my mother and we cried.